Okay, so because I forgot to film a video this week, instead I'll be looking at six photography designs that I own and really like. They're high quality and very affordable. The first one is Every Day by Jack Rainey. I own the 43rd edition of 100 and I really like the cover of this book, as well as its internal layout. The paper quality is superb and these are some of the few black and white images of which I really like. I bought the book for £5 online, although you can actually find it in some magma shops in the UK. Moving on, the next sign is Hiroshima Maezima. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's by Roseanne May, and the book is a collection of images taken in Japan during 2016. I really love the size and the shape of this book as it's a square and it's not something you usually see. She's done a very good job at capturing the feel and the landscape, and something about the images is so peaceful and calm. The book costs just under £5, and I highly recommend you check out Roseanne's work. Alan Campbell's Silence and Cities is the first photo book that I ever bought. The book is 40 pages of images taken on medium format from all around the world. I used to never like square aspect ratio photos, but Alan's are some of the best. Every photo captures real emotion and his use of lighting is amazing. Once again, it cost £5 not including shipping and I couldn't recommend it more. I love the next book because I really like to say its name, Tokyo Tone. It's a 50 page book with 46 street photography images taken in both Tokyo and Kyoto, hence the name. One thing to note is when you buy smaller photographer's designs, they tend to come with a handwritten message saying thank you, and I think that's really nice and wholesome. Back to the book, I absolutely love the imagery in this book, and every photo seems so familiar yet so foreign. It does a good job at capturing life in Japan. This book cost me £8 plus £4 shipping to the UK. Next up is King's Ling Junk by While There Is Light. The main reason I like this book is because of its full page layouts. I think a lot of photo designs are very similar in the way they lay out their photos, and in King's Ling Junk the images are high quality. They're printed so you can see every little detail in each image. There is 36 pages and the book costs £4. Finally we have Artificial Perfection by Zach Hoskin. This 56 page book focuses on manufactured environment. It's mostly architectural photography that focuses on shapes and lines within buildings. I bought it for just over six pounds with three pound shipping. The book is very well printed and each one is signed by Zach himself. Thanks for watching this little video. Hopefully next week I'll be putting out a video on how to make your own zine for very little, and the week after that there should be an expired film video. So yeah, thanks for watching again. Bye.